Welcome to another episode of Reef Keeping. What's up guys, it's Noah here. How you guys doing? I'm doing great. It is past nine o'clock, sorry the lights are off, so we uh, missed it, barely missed it, because it's 9.06. But anyways, uh, before I start, I wanna say a shout out to Dee from Brooklyn for sending me a tripod. I'm excited to give this a try once I have time to actually use it. Um, right now I've been really busy this whole week and today in particular trying to figure out what's going on with the reef what's going on with the pH swings as you guys know it's been two or three weeks and I cannot figure out what's going on with the pH thing so a huge discovery today I was going through here cleaning the tank and uh, what was happening was when I started turning on the pump and I usually don't do this so for some reason today I did it but when I turn on the pump, uh, today I put my hand over the pump to see that if you can tell here, there's a pump uh, on each side of the chamber, on the left side and the right side of the chamber in the RSM250. But anyways, for some reason today, I put my hand down there when I turn it on to make sure that the flow is actually coming or the pump is actually sucking in the, uh, the water into the main display. And so the left side was fine but the right side wasn't working. And I'll show you what happened here. So as you can see, it's a little messy in here because this whole thing has kind of like, it's caught me off guard and it took me like literally an hour or something to, you know, troubleshoot and everything. So here's the pump that goes in the back on the right chamber and it's a little dirty. So I'm gonna clean it here before I even put it back in. So if you do have, you know, pull out any equipment, make sure that you do give it a nice clean. But here is the issue here. Um, so this, little um, kind of uh, piping goes on top of the pump like so <laughs> it's gonna be hard to see because there's like no light right now uh, but anyways this goes on top and this here as you can see is another piece of PVC that goes to the pump for some reason it broke so for two weeks or so I didn't have any aeration in that back chamber and I think that's what caused the chemical imbalance and all this weird things to be happening as of recently because um, it's just, I noticed when I put my hand back here that the water wasn't circulating anything. It was just dead, you know, dead water, no flow whatsoever. So I think, and, and all my probes are right here. So all my readings was from this area that was really diluted with, with just chemical that wasn't moving around. So I had to go to Menards. I grabbed uh, some new pipes. Thank goodness they have it there available and ready to use um, and I didn't have to order online. So now I got to clean the equipment, put the pump back in and hopefully this is going to end the pH problems but anyways uh, on top of that today I had to frag some co colonies, uh, actually one colony, the colony over here, the big colony that was here, I had to frag it up because the pH problem was just RTNing some of the stuff, was bleaching some of the stuff and it was just dying so I was like okay. I gotta sacrifice, you know, some of the colony by cutting it to make sure that at least some of it can survive. So and I, I got three, you know, decent chunks of the sand coral right here. So hopefully they'll make it through here. But yeah, my number one thing right now is trying to get this pH thing under control. So sorry guys, I was gonna do a video on a different topic today, but I didn't expect anything like this to happen. But this comes to show that even people who have been in the hobby for years, like myself, you know, even miss a simple step like this, which is to check your equipment once in a while. But I tell you what, um, it's Friday that you're gonna see this video. On Monday, I'm gonna give you guys an update if that solved my pH problem, and I'm hoping that solves it. And then I'll also pick another topic to talk about on Monday. Uh, so I'll post up maybe Tuesday morning or Monday morning if I film it Sunday. But anyways, for those of you who are just joining the channel, thanks for joining me. Sorry that this video isn't going to be that interesting as I would, as expecting to do a topic. But uh, I promise you, the next video is going to be so much more fun. I just got to do a lot of catching up to do with the reef. And I just want to let you guys know what's going on. So, you know, you guys don't come back in a week and like, hey, what happened to the video? He didn't post for a week, you know. So, that's what's going on right now. Um, have a good 4th of July, guys. And always remember to keep sharing your knowledge with each, with each other. And uh, I'll let you guys know how this turns out. I'm crossing my fingers that this is going to solve it. Because this has been just the worst like three weeks in my reef thing. Because it's just, yeah, it's my tank in the last three weeks has been pretty bad. Uh, but, you know, surprisingly most of the colonies are making it. 
you know, I did lose like uh, the bird's nest. I did, I started losing this colony over here, so I chopped it up. So hopefully, some of it will survive. Anyways, I don't know if there's anything to comment, share, or subscribe, but anyways, feel free to comment, share, subscribe, and like the video. Thank you for joining me, and I'll let you guys know what's going on Monday. Anyways, happy reefing, and you guys have a good weekend. Happy 4th, guys. See ya.